In Associate Professor Dean Alexander's classroom, students look into the past, only their search is narrowed to the history of terrorist attacks. We talk about uh, various issues on legal aspects of, uh, of terrorism in terms of what's the appropriate forum uh, these are the individuals that, that have conducted terrorist attacks uh, here on U.S. soil, so post 9-11. When tackling Monday's tragedy, Alexander and his students shared views on why the bombs went off. The notion that marathons um, are a target is, is on, on the one hand, unfortunately, nothing new. Uh, they have been targeted uh, in the past. It could just be a, a, a radical or um, an individual trying to make a name for themselves or supporting what they believe, I mean. Like, um, this is really similar to what I believe Timothy McVeigh, the Oklahoma City bomber. Um, it could just be an, indi an individual similar to him who just, you know, is, is mad at the world. Alexander explained multiple examples with his students where sporting events attracted an attack. He explained how security increased as a result of these attacks as well. I don't think America should be freaked out by this. I mean, of course, it has significance on, on um, huge events like this, but we have to go, we have to live our lives. We can't be scared every day. Alexander says these students gain more than just a textbook education from this course. The, the surprise factor is no longer there. They appreciate it's part of a, a tactical uh, approach and strategic approach by disparate uh, terror groups and individuals globally.